uh, when I said before that I believe that the work has the courage to engage with the complexity of music, including demonic aspects of music, I meant uh, I meant to say that in the context that uh, I believe, like for example, Thomas Mann does, that music is ambiguous in nature. That is, it appeals to stratas of our existence, which are both uh, elevating, transcending our uh, spirituality upwards, if you like, as much as uh, being nourished from sources of our spirituality which are denying our being. Uh, this I would call the demonic, and uh, in that sense there are forces there, mythical forces, that are uh, not necessarily uh, morally neutral. Uh, these forces are at work in music and music appeals to them, music e expresses them and music uh, works through them. Uh, it also achieves the transcendence, of course, by articulating them. So from that point of view, I believe the complexity of engagement that we hear in this work, it's a sheer extreme nature, it's in it direct engagement, confrontation with the medium of popular music, of ritualistic music, of the ritual in music, uh, which transcends the conscious control or the conscious reflection of, of music making. I think that's a very courageous step. It goes right to the borders of our existence and our, of our uh, ex potential for experience without, uh, of course, succumbing to it. And that's the uh, important part, that's the artistic achievement in this. <laughs> an instrument that is lacking in repertoire in an art music context. There's hardly anything out there that's written for an unaccompanied instrument of a substantial length. There's a few pieces that have been written where the guitar may have a solo in the chamber work or uh, in a sort of multi-guitar sort of setting. But uh, to my knowledge there's nothing that I've come across that's of this length and for just purely unaccompanied electric guitar. It's uh, very similar, I think, to Bach's Goldberg Variations or the, the Bach Chacon in the sense that it's a substantial work that's expanded the technique and just the voice and, and it created a vocabulary for the instrument. And um, it's just as demanding as those other works and I think that it's sort of a, a big step forward for this instrument right here and it will uh, challenge many, many guitar players uh, to come. Hmm. That's enough for one day, I think. <laughs> <laughs>